Hey guys, welcome to the 162nd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working in our Hangman project. And we're basically going to be handling when the user submits a letter. So let's just go ahead and double click on the Submit Letter button. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is get the character that the user submitted. So we're going to say character, oops, character letter equals textbox one's text, which is this text box right here. So textbox one's text dot two character array, since we're trying to get a character out of it. And since this returns a character array, we can just put brackets after it and put zero in them. Since there's only going to be one element inside of this character array because the maximum length of this text box is one. So it'll basically just get the character that the user submitted. Next, we're going to want to check to see if the user actually did submit a letter. Because if they didn't, we want to tell them that, no, you can't do that. You have to submit a letter. So we're going to say if character dot is letter, and this will just return a pool indicating whether the character actually is a letter. And then we're going to want to test this letter right up here, or the character that we got from the text box. And if it's not, so we're just going to put an exclamation point at the beginning of this. So if it's not a letter, then we're going to have a message box show saying you have to submit a letter. So we're going to say message box dot show here. Oops. You can only submit letters. Then we're going to want to make the um, title of the or that message box error. Then the buttons for the message box will be, oops, message box buttons will be only OK. And, oops, no, we want OK. And then for the icon of the message box, we're going to make it an error because it's an error. And then we're just going to have it return so that uh, it never will get to the code if the user actually did submit a letter. And let's just go ahead and test this out and make sure it works. All right, so if we try to submit like anything that's not a letter, like a number, nope, you can only submit letters. And you can see we got that icon right there, and we have error at the top of the uh, message box. All right, so now we're going to want to check to see if the letter that the user submitted is actually in the word. So we're going to say if word.contains, and remember we created word up here so that we can use it in other spots, such as down here. So we're going to say if this word contains um, this letter right here, then we're going to have it do stuff. All right. So if the word contains a letter, we're going to actually go through every word in, or every letter inside of the word. And if the letter inside of the word is the letter that the user submitted, then we're going to change the corresponding label's text to that letter. And you'll understand it more once we actually like code it and type it out. All right, so now we're going to want to create a character array of all the characters that are actually in that word. So I'm going to say character array letters equals word dot two character array. All right, so now we're going to want to go through each letter in the character array or inside of this word and we're just going to check to see if that character is the one that the user submitted. So int i equals zero while well, i is less than the letter's length, oops, letter's length, and we're just going to increment i by 1. All right, so now we're going to check to see if that letter actually is the letter that the user submitted. So we're going to say if letters i equals letter, aka the letter that the user submitted, then we're going to change the corresponding labels text to that letter. So labels, which is our label list, i dot text equals that letter's text. So letter dot to string. All right. So that's sort of confusing, but basically what we will do right here is we're creating a character array of all the letters in the word that we generated. Then we're going to want to go through each and every letter inside of that word. And if that letter is equal to the letter that the user submitted, then we're going to want to go up to our label and change that label's text to um, whatever letter that the user submitted. All right, so let's say the word that we generated randomly was apple. So apple right here. And then the user guesses P. Well, it's going to go through every letter inside of this word. So A, 
A is not P. P is PP? Yes, it is. So then we're going to change the corresponding labels text to P. So if there were four, well, I guess it would be five labels, then we're going to want to change label 2's text to P, and then we're going to want to go on to the next letter. Is that one P? Yes, it is. So we're going to change label 3's text to P as well. And then as you can see, L is not P and E is not P either. So we're going to leave those the way they are. All right, so now let's go ahead and text, or test this out and see if it works. So let's just debug here. Yep, we got a nice long word, 13 letters long. We guessed A, let's see if it's in there. Yep, A is in there, so it changed the label's text to A. Is B in there? No, let's try S. Yep, S is in there. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.